They watch in disbelief and grief after two of their learners were crushed to death when a truck which was delivering building materials to the school hit into the perimeter wall fence and collapsed on the learners, killing them instantly. Eleven people received a phone call to the effect that there were two girls by the name of um, Miriam Benga and Precious Mandela who had died at this school. What happened was they were walking from home, going into the school because they were supposed to be for 12 hours. Unfortunately, as they were going in, there was a truck that was reversing and the driver missed the, uh, the gate and hit into the wall. So these people are walking here. That's how they, the fence collapsed on them and unfortunately they passed on. Um, the bodies are lying with a person from the hospital motor awaiting for the So after the accident, the driver reported himself at Kabwe Central Police. Uh, as of now, he's being brought to Wacha Police Station because the, uh, the accident ha happened within the jurisdiction of this police station. The accident has shocked Kabwe District Commissioner Lennox Shimwambwa. Very dark day for Wacha, very dark day for the inner temple uh, school and the community at large. Every parent wants to see their children into school and back home safely. Ours now is to hold hands with the family to make sure that we provide as much as we can in terms of food, in terms of tents, and just mourn with the family. Angelina Tembo Primary School head teacher, Sister Teresa Mwaba, narrated the incidents. Just the, 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 the sound of the airport was And I came out, I found that the truck that was parked in the best room in the school materials, the school hall, we are the best the school hall. So he missed and bumped it. Kelvin Tembo for Zanis in Kawe, Central Province.